are gray wolves in danger of extinction or not? The debate is back again now that a federal agency is proposing to remove them from the endangered species list. But as 7 Action News reporter New Prakash found out, some animal activists say that would make the wolves more vulnerable. The federal government says right now there are 4,400 wolves in Michigan, Minnesota, and Wisconsin, but animal advocates say they all need to be protected. Wolves are a fantastic and majestic predator. They're an important part of nature. That's B. Friedlander with Attorneys for Animals, a nonprofit made up of lawyers and animal advocates. Friedlander says it's important to try and save gray wolves across the country and here in Michigan. They're on the endangered species list, but the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has again proposed they be taken off that list. We have read the science and it's conflicting, but we believe that the wolves whose population is fragile now could risk going to the brink of extinction. Friedlander says if the gray wolves are delisted, they'd be under state management, and she worries that could lead to hunting and poaching. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says gray wolves in the western Great Lakes have reached and exceeded recovery goals for a number of years. With any listed species, once we, they reach that point um, and federal protections aren't needed to recover the species, then it's appropriate to uh, take them off the endangered species list and, and use resources elsewhere. We uh, are required under the act to base our decisions on the best available scientific information, and that's what we do. Michigan Attorney General Dana Nessel is calling on the service to abandon what she calls a flawed proposal on gray wolves, saying this is the 10th attempt to remove them from the list in less than 20 years. Friedlander says she just wants this fragile population to flourish. They have unfortunately become very politicized. We feel that we have to speak up. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service says it has taken public comment, which it will analyze. It has until next March to make a decision. I'm Anu Prakash, 7 Action News. 